Today, I have a very special painting that I want to share with you. And this has come from deep within my heart. Hi, I'm Becca. Welcome to my acrylic pouring channel. Today is April 2nd, which is Autism Awareness Day. And I have done a very special painting in honor of bringing more awareness to autism spectrum disorder. My hope is that with more awareness comes more understanding, more love, and more acceptance of those who struggle with autism or even excel with autism. There is not one type of autism. Different people experience autism differently. My hope is that with more awareness would come more acceptance and more understanding for those who live life with autism spectrum disorder. Whether that means that person is highly skilled, but is challenged in social situations, or whether that person is severely challenged and perhaps nonverbal, it can look so different in so many different people. But what you don't see is the internal struggles. What you don't see is the way the anxiety can creep up and the fears and the, and all of the challenges that come with living with autism spectrum disorder, especially for those who have never been diagnosed. There's so much more awareness now for our kids to get seen, to get noticed. It, there's so much more awareness, but, but there are so many people who have grown up all their lives thinking that they've always been different. They'd never quite fit in. They didn't understand what was going on with them. They might be on the autism spectrum and have never been diagnosed and trying to mask and live every day as somebody that they feel like they're supposed to be, but they're not. My goodness, can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine the anxiety going along with that? So if you are somebody who is on the autism spectrum, perhaps questions if you might be on the autism spectrum, or if you're a mom, a dad, a husband, a wife, a friend, a coworker, somebody who cares deeply for somebody on the autism spectrum, I hope that you will find today's video encouraging and that it will bring just one more layer of awareness to what autism spectrum disorder can look like and feel like for the person who has it and for those who love people on the spectrum. I have prepared a piece that I would like to share with you today about my experience of loving somebody on the autism spectrum. I look at him and my heart swells, this boy I get to call my son. The seemingly infinite amount of knowledge his brain can hold, the way he's beat me at every board game since he has been five years old, and his ability to remember the details. I feel so honored to be entrusted with this boy, this boy who will change the world. He's different, he's odd, some say. Normal is boring anyway. The way he learns, the way he thinks, it amazes my typical brain. Have you loved someone on the spectrum? It's full of brilliance and pain. I look at him and my heart breaks, this boy I get to call my son. Completely overwhelmed, head in his hands, shoulders shaking. He's sensitive to fabrics, which makes Halloween costumes isolating. Please invite us, also understand, if we don't stay very long because parties are as unpredictable as people. But video games follow a pattern, a set of rules with little to no nuance for him to have to interpret the tone of your voice. Can you imagine the anxiety of feeling like you never quite understand what's going on around you in society? Of your peers being mad at you, making fun of you and leaving you out, and you don't understand why? of seeing the world in black and white when others can seemingly smell the color nine. Can you empathize with those who experience the world with a different kind of brain? Or do you shut them out and call it having boundaries? I look at him and my heart hopes for this boy I get to call my son, that his gifts would be embraced and his flaws erased as we run toward a future that is really, truly aware that not one more person would mistake the struggles of autism for the evils of narcissism, that there would be more help for families, for partners and friends, that glass children would be seen and honored for the sacrifices they make. 
I have hope for a spouse who loves him even more than I, and for a career where his gifts cannot be denied. Hope for a smile and a love and a calling that is true. Hope. Because loving him has changed me, and if you're willing, it can change you too.